in part three, we want to play a little bit more with this problem to see what else we can we can calculate or we can figure out about this system. So we found before that for a spherically symmetric charge distribution where less than some value capital R, the density distribution was given by a, a constant times 1 minus R over the radius, which was a linearly decreasing uh, density distribution function from some constant to zero uh, over uh, from zero to to capital R. We found an electric field inside the charge distribution given by this expression where it's the same as a point charge outside of the distribution. So what's happening to this system? I mean this system, the electric field, what, what is this saying? So here's a positive uh, term that's linear in R, and here we have a negative term that's quadratic in R, and so it it increases linearly, and then the quadratic term takes over, turns it around, and then eventually you reach the the outer surface, where then it just decays as, as uh, 1 over R squared. And so let's let's ask ourselves, let's try to f calculate then, uh, what is this maximum electric field and where is it and how big is it uh, relative to uh, um, uh, relative to say the on the edge or where we where we uh, know where it is say at, at, at r is equal to r well first of all, I, I'm not sure we know exactly that the maximum is at a value uh, less than the radius but let let's for the moment assume that it is and then if we do a calculation and find that it's greater than the radius then our our picture of what's happening is wrong but let's for the moment assume that the maximum electric field is in fact inside this uh, this region of charge okay so let's find the maximum electric field the maximum electric field is a maximization problem and that's going to be where the derivative of the electric field with respect to R uh, is equal to zero okay all right well this condition we know says it's a maximum or a minimum but by inspection we know it's it's going to be some maximum so we differentiate this expression that's easy enough to do with respect to r because it's simply a couple polynomials r then minus six uh, sorry r that four minus six r over capital r then is equal to zero all right and so for this to be zero this has to be zero and so six r over capital r is equal to four or then the this occurs i'm going to use this space up here r small r equal two-thirds capital r okay so that tells us something we know then that the location of the maximum is at two-thirds of the radius so it is in fact inside the charge distribution uh, as we had anticipated and so now we just need to know uh, what what that is alright so we just plug that back into our expression for the electric field and that's then KQ over capital R the radius cubed we get 8 thirds times r because that was 4r right then we have 3r times uh, small r squared which would be 4 ninths times r okay we can do some simplification this goes to 3 then uh, r squared of course this r cancels one of those and then uh, we get KQ over capital R cubed and so we have 8 thirds capital R minus 4 thirds capital R and so that's just 4 thirds radius of the object this cancels one of those squared we get 4 thirds K cubed over capital R squared alright so that is the value of the 
the maximum electric field. It is at two-thirds of the full radius of the system, and it's also that it, it's uh, one-third larger than the field at the uh, radius. At the radius, it's kq over r squared, and it's one-third larger at the maximum value.